this repertoire, you know, the Poulenc, the Forêt, two pieces, you know, it's the first time for them to play, you know, they don't mm -hmm. know it, you know, mm -hmm. which is always something very nice for a conductor, you know, because uh, sometimes if an orchestra knows the piece first, they, they, uh, they don't want to play it that much, you know, and then it's already, um, you know, arranged, or, or, you know, rehearsed, you know, so now it, I'm very happy to discover the piece, you know, uh, it's, it's a, it's always also myself, you know. I like to uh, discover new music, to mm -hmm. play new music. So that's very, it's, it's, it's very good. I'm very happy about it. Poulenc has his own way of uh, writing dynamics because he thinks about the instruments. So, for instance, he thinks bassoon is not so, so strong like a trumpet. So he, he writes fortissimo to the bassoon and then the trumpet pianissimo. But of course, he wants, you know, it's the continuity because it's one bar, two bars bassoon, two bars trumpet, you know, then two bars cello. So for each group he has a different uh, dynamic, but it means that it should, uh, you know, uh, have a link, you know, and sound at the same power. So he always compensates the dynamic, is very important. So if you don't know, you would exaggerate in one way, or you know, for instance, play two piano, which is not necessary, you know. And it's also according to uh, the players, you know, that I think it's also it's very, very interesting. Because uh, we always think that is, there is a lot of atmosphere, and there is, of course, you know, the sound, the special, but it all comes from uh, the rhythm mainly. That, that means that you have to play it precise uh, on the beat, you know, really, uh, not in a German way like you would have in a Brahms symphony, which takes more power, more, more sound, you know, it sounds in a different way. Well, the first thing is that uh, that uh, the, it's uh, I I enjoy to do it, especially with uh, an orchestra like this one, that where the musicians are uh, you know uh, listening so much, so well they are, uh, they understand the, the feeling of playing together chamber music, you know. So it it's very helpful. It's very nice, but the difficulty is completely different because you know. It's, it, it's like uh, using a different brain, you know, uh, uh, to play, you have to control, uh, uh, think about so many details, you know, just to produce one note, you know, at a time, you know, for hour. And, and when you conduct, you have to listen to so many things, you know, and control, try to, uh, not control, but, you know, make them work together in the same thing. So it's completely, it's a completely different thing. But 
I came to the point to think that uh, both uh, are uh, important for me. Of course, the conducting is getting more and more, and I love it. Um, but the clarinet also uh, is uh, one something that I, you know, because I think the the the, the joy of making your own sound is uh, is absolutely great. But also, it's important to understand the, the process. Uh, of uh, how it is actually going in the orchestra, what they, they, they need, uh, how hard it is to play, you know, to discover a new piece, piece to, to play, to make it possible, you know, and make everything going together. So I think, the, uh, for me, um, now I've to, to the point that, you know, I enjoy so much uh, to play and I enjoy so much to conduct and sometimes, if I can do both in the same concert, uh, it's very nice. When I uh, play with an orchestra like, like the Prague Philharmonic, the, the, it's not. I'm not conducting. I'm just playing, and they are playing with me as it is with chamber music. Because I don't. I cannot conduct. You know when I play, the information of what I do is um, is enough. I think because of the texture of the music. You know, and they are listening so well. So at this moment. They don't need a conductor to, you know, beat the, the thing, you know, especially in a piece like this. So it's a diff diff different feeling, a different approach, which, which I like very much.